Hey, thanks for coming everyone. I'm Pat Hyde, Director of Public Works for the City of Saskatoon. And we're here to talk today about one of the, uh, the pilot projects that we're engaged in with the, uh, the snow program that we have going. Uh, early in the winter we talked about we are going to be doing a few different pilot projects and one of those was going to be uh, a project called pre-wedding. And pre-wedding basically is a, a process where we uh, uh, actually, as it sounds, we wet the, the material that comes out of the back of the sander. So we use a uh, magnesium uh, chloride based uh, product, which is the same thing we've been using for the, uh, uh, the blended mix that we put on the roadways. But this is a solution base where it comes through a spray. It sprays onto the salt sand mixture blend as it comes out of the back of the spreader. And what that does is that it uh, changes the, the, the composition basically of that sand and salt. So it gets to a point where when it is uh, applied to the roadway, it uh, works as a, a much more of a, uh, a stickier, tackier type of material. So what it does is when it, it hits the roadway, it uh, stays on the roadway as opposed to bouncing off the roadway, what, hap what happens with uh, sand and salt, especially when it's cold. And uh, the, uh, the magnesium chloride blend as well with that uh, also starts to activate the salt right away. And it also uh, helps as a, a process where it works as a de-icer for when we have surface temperatures and salt sand, or sorry, so, uh, snow and uh, ice that uh, uh, will, will uh, form a bond on the roadway uh, when you get to really cold temperatures. So with the sand and salt mixture that we put on the roadway itself, when we use the pre-wetting solution, um, that is as good, that'll work the, the effective working temperature that is, t is, is good to uh, roughly minus 65 degrees Celsius. Uh, salt itself on its own is only good to about minus 60 and after that it's no longer found in the past is when you put in a sand salt application down, it doesn't have the same effective rate when it's in really cold temperatures, so it forces us to put the sand down on a much more frequent basis in order to provide a traction aid. What it doesn't do is it doesn't provide the same uh, de-icing composition that this will do as we've done with the other pilot project, which is the, is just the magnesium chloride blend with the sand and salt mixture itself. So with the, between the two pilot projects, um, we know that we're definitely going to be making a difference in our roadways itself. We've seen a, a significant improvement in the areas of the Priory Streets uh, and Circle Drive where we've used the, uh, the, the blended mixture of magnesium chloride and sand salt. And now we're underway with this project here, uh, which we just started yesterday. Um, that one we will we'll also see a, a difference uh, in the results as well too. So part of this is to see how these different products will work going for through the pilot project this winter so we can determine what's the best fit for next winter. Uh, as everyone knows, throughout the course of the winter, we have different extremes. As we've seen in the last two weeks, we've had a melting trend, which has kind of brought, basically brought in almost a mini spring-like conditions, and now we're going into, again, a cold snap. Um, of course, then with that, you get the variations of different precipitation, everything from rain to sleet to uh, puffy snow to heavy, wet snow, and of course, we have to be able to react to all those different kinds of conditions. And we found that the applications that we're providing right now did give us some flexibility in that regard, and we're also going to provide a much more uh, uh, pleasing result for the motors in that respect that we can try and break that ice bomb when it forms. And then there's also another pilot project that we'll engage in next winter because we, uh, we didn't get it going at the start of this winter, and that's a direct, direct liquid application process, which we then can try and uh, apply, which will prevent the ice bomb from forming. So different uh, options that we have underway right now the ones that we're doing right now is the uh, pre-wetting system itself. Um, also, <coughs> excuse me, what we've been doing through the course of the, uh, the warmer weather, uh, sand and snow, uh, snow program continues. We've been sanding uh, as required, using salt where we can when it's effective. Uh, there are windrows across the uh, priority network that we have to remove in order to make storage space. We've been doing that as well. Uh, we've also been fixing potholes as the new release tells us that we put down, I think it's 30, my memory's failing at the moment, 30 tons of cold mix material. And the cold mix material is not as pliable as regular hot and hot asphalt, but it does provide a temporary uh, fix anywhere from, depending on the uh, conditions it's put down, it can last anywhere from four to six months up to a year. Um, but it will carry us through the winter for sure, and then uh, if, if need be, we'll repair those with permanent solution or permanent mix once uh, the spring conditions are here and we have hot asphalt as well. Um, the, the one thing I 
forgot to mention, sorry, is the uh, on the uh, the uh, pre-wetting solution that we're using right now. Uh, the target we're doing for for the time being uh, is the Circle Drive bridge decks and the Circle Drive itself, and then we'll branch into Priory One streets as well to see see how it compares between what we can use it for the uh, the uh, caliper product, which is just the straight magnesium blend with the uh, standard salt itself. Uh, we also want to remind operators or vehicle motorists that. Uh, when you're out on the street and you do see the operations of snow removal and or snow grading, that you pay attention to uh, the, the equipment that's out there. They are hazardous conditions that they work in, and they can create some hazards for motors and just the fact that uh, these are slow moving equipment, large equipment, they're in the driving lanes. The snow removal process that we're going through on the Priory Street is done at night time, so that creates an additional hazard. They have uh, rotating beacon lights which do warn motors of their, their presence, but we we still uh, expect that motors uh, pay close, deep, deep attention to what's happening on the roadway around them and uh, avoid those at, at uh, every opportunity they have. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up where we're